Let love be the soil on which you create your life. Let love be the seed of the tree that will give you shade. Let love be the spark that lit fire inside. Let love be the inspiration for the dreams you seek. Let love be you. Let it be the way you see. Hi, this is I the unrealist, a simple man telling simple stories with a special perspective. Here I try to find something beautiful, unique in our rather mundane grey life. This story is about finding out how three different generations view the concept of marriage, how it has changed and what it truly means. So let's begin. My pre-wedding shoot pics are ready to share after editing. I showed it to everyone and posted it everywhere. Most of my day went in replying to the comments showing the pics to everyone. I was sitting in the veranda in the evening sipping my tea just relaxing when i heard my grandma shouting at my mom she must have seen the photos she was shouting at my mother is this the way a person takes photos and what are these poses before marriage in front of everyone i have never been so close to my grandma she has never been able to understand me she does not listen to logic she has her beliefs and she won't change it for anything after many unfruitful fights i have decided it is better not to face her i put on my earphones and went further out sipping my tea whilst looking around i came back to kitchen to keep the cup when i heard she was still shouting at my mom i heard her saying this girl is going to bring shame to the family if this is how she behaves before marriage how will it be after marriage the in-laws will blame us for raising her like this already she is marrying outside our faith and now this the relatives are not happy there are so many worthy men in our faith why did she need to marry that it is not that he is some millionaire or something i am telling you there is still time there is no need to take all of this on us just for her sake she is not some princess if you can't do it i will i will make her understand my own way well that was it i cannot take it anymore my mother was standing there patiently listening to this old woman who does not care about anything but her legacy i could not bear it anymore i just went inside and said if you don't like it don't come to the wedding and tell your relatives not to come what is the point of having you if you cannot even understand what i want i am a free person i can do whatever i want i don't need your advice or help i don't care at all grandma was already angry and i just put more oil in it well it would be wrong if she gave up on her 25 year old granddaughter she went on aha now you don't need us don't forget i have raised you and your father without me none of you exist it was me who spent my whole life for you so that you can do whatever you want and when it is time you don't want me i am not going to leave you without getting it all back that's the point grandma i don't want to be 70 and still wanting someone else to give me what i want i am doing it now on my own and you have not done anything it was your responsibility if you didn't want it why even give birth to children in first place see unlike you i will have children when i want not when someone else puts in puts it inside me without asking me then grandma looked at my mom and shouted like i had stabbed her with a knife look what your daughter is saying i should have killed my own son because i did not want him this is what happens when you let them lose this much money is not going to buy her a child tell her and she started crying seeing her my mom started crying and seeing my mom i started crying and went to my room i sat there till late in the evening i did not want to go down it was such a great day but this old woman i just sat in my room looking up arrangements of the reception it was almost dinner time my mom came to call me for dinner i clearly denied that i don't want to have dinner with that old chimp today i sensed my mother getting angry she is your grandmother you should not talk like that but she should also understand me i only get to enjoy once in my life can't i have that also i will have to behave after marriage don't i 
Do you also think I should have not done the pre-wedding shoot? Tell me. My mother did not speak for a bit. Well, if you are asking, I also did not like these things that you do in the name of choice and enjoyment. Mom, you too. I understand it is special for you as it is for everyone. But this is too much. It's like you are never going to be happy again. You act like that. I am not. This is once in a lifetime thing, mom. Don't you think it should be perfectly as I want it to be? It has to be celebrated, beta, but not because it is never going to happen again. It should be celebrated because it is the beginning of something beautiful. If you think that this marriage is going to take away a part of your life, then this is not right. That's only why I agreed to this love marriage of yours because I thought you really like the guy and you know him well. He is a nice guy, mom. He is a good guy. But I have seen you, auntie, my other friends go through things after marriage. Everything changes after marriage, doesn't it? So I must enjoy this when I still have time. Mom came and sat near me. It is going to change, my dear. Same as it changed when you passed your school and went to college, when you started your job after graduation. This is nothing different. But the matter is, you still see all of those as additions to your life, and you see marriage as some kind of restraint or old ritual. Marriage is nothing different. It will bring changes and responsibilities, but you must do it. only when you know it is going to add some value to your life like your college helps you get a job job helps you do stuff similarly your marriage should help you become a better loving person help you emotionally in life give you strength and assurance of having someone who will love you till the end i thought you were marrying to this guy who you claim to love you due to that i do i do love him then this marriage should be only a formality for you i may not have married someone i knew i would love but i married a person who i knew would be my side and will only help me grow as a person arranged or love that is what marriage is at the end but you add just so much you do so much it is time you accept the hard part of life effort is life and to get a promotion in job you have to work hard don't you marriage love are not so different it is also an effort even artists have to make an effort to be able to sell their art and earn a living from it otherwise it is just a hobby love is no different there are those romantic moments but for the major part of it it is an effort and in today's world it is harder to truly identify love isn't it Yeah, it is. We can never know what the other person is. Sometimes he also surprises me in a weird way. That is how people are. They change. I changed after having you. Your father changed too. That is the best part of it. You will change and see the other person changing. But you will be there for each other throughout. And sometimes you have to do it the hard way. Mom, you just make it sound like the worst thing in the world, like it is some kind of lame duty that one must do. If you do it with love, then it is romantic. If you do it for something else, then it is just a job. It depends on you what it is for you. For that, my child, you must first love yourself. Once you love yourself and be happy with yourself, you will only see love. Don't worry, it is a long process. Maybe you will someday. Marriage is just a beginning to that. Don't overdo it. It is not the end. It is just the start. And don't bother your grandma so much. She has had her share of life. She just wants to make sure we have others when we need them. Remember, she has been through worse than we can ever imagine. Just respect that. Hope you like this story. Please comment below on your thoughts. What is marriage for you? And also like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such stories.